Hey, so today I'm with my freshman year roommate, Will, that came all the way over from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, here to Belgrade, Serbia, to visit me. And I'll be asking him a few questions on his first 48 hours here in Belgrade. So my first question is, what were some of your first impressions when you got here two days ago? Okay, well, when I first got here, you guys picked me up at the airport, and then we drove to your apartment. So I guess a big thing was also that there are no houses or anything. Everybody's living in the city, and there's tons of apartments around. The <coughs> there was a lot. It was a busy city. I know it coming in. It was a big city, but I didn't really grasp that right away. And then I saw tons of cars driving around, stuff like that. It was. A lot of people, um, then it was just cool driving around seeing, seeing the city. Okay, so then after we picked you up, we went to eat Serbian barbecue, then we got to eat pizza the next day, then you got the traditional Serbian food, and we ate for dinner and breakfast a few times our the food from our bakeries. So why don't you talk about uh, those four different types of foods that you had here? Sure. Um, so in terms of the food in general, there I'm not even just saying this, but like everything I've tried so far has been good. I don't know if you guys just pick and choose the best stuff, but it's been <laughs> good. Um, in terms of the specific stuff, the barbecue was really good. The meat especially was good. And then the salad, which was different compared to America. We don't really have that many salads without lettuce. There's no lettuce, but it was really good. The the cheese with the vegetables was good. Um, the pizza... How, how was the, the meat, for example, different? Because I had a hard time explaining it to you because like meat is meat, but you just kind of prepare it differently and it tastes completely different. Yeah, I mean it, it resembled sausage-like meats, but it was definitely had a different taste to it. Still, it was very much like meat, but oh, okay. I mean, it was good. And then um, the pizza. The pizza was really good, but it was totally different than what you would have in America. Um, uh, in America, you just traditional cheese and pepperoni or sausage or whatever. But this was like really thick with different kinds of vegetables and meat on it and lots of cheese. So that was really good. And then the other kind of pizza that we had, you had like chicken salad on top of the pizza. That was really good. And then in terms of the bakery stuff, you know, it's, it's what you would see at other bakeries in America, but different products, obviously. Uh, and then that was good. Okay, and the uh, home-cooked meal my mom home prepared today? How yeah, was that? the home-cooked meal was really good. Um, it was, it was like, I don't know what I would compare it to, but it was, there's meat mixed with a sauce and vegetable and stuff, and then... Mm -hmm had a salad. Salad too. and then we had bread with it too, which yeah. was really good in general. Okay, and then after we ate at the barbecue, we came back, you kind of unpacked and we went to watch uh, my favorite local theme partisan play in the qualifiers for the Champions League. So that was your first professional football game, what, was yeah. it? Yeah. First so. How does it compare it to professional sports in the U.S.? Not college, professional sports. Um, definitely different, especially compared to basketball. I've been to basketball games, football games, baseball games. The atmosphere is it's not even comparable. I mean, people care about the sports in America, but in terms of in-game atmosphere, it's not even. And that wasn't even like one of the biggest games, correct? And it was just the whole game, chanting, very loud very fun, everyone's into it, people aren't just there to be there, it seems everyone cares, and it was it was really fun, they won 2 nothing. Lots of swearing. Lots of swearing, yep, yeah, and people care a lot, Ch political chants, stuff yeah. like that, but uh, yeah, it was lots of People fun. were standing the whole time. People were standing the whole time, there was a couple scenes, small scenes. <laughs> small Not scenes, big, but, yeah. yeah. Okay, and then you've been to a lot of big cities over in the U.S. already. So how does Belgrade um, look in terms of like 
the whole atmosphere of the city, the the buildings, the people, how does it feel differently than in the US? Yeah, I mean, it's, I would say it's about as busy as a lot of the cities, but it's definitely different. Um, in terms of the layout, it's different. The buildings, there's no huge modern skyscrapers. There's not tons of like business people going around and stuff. It's definitely the cars are different. People are doing different stuff. People are sitting in cafes. I mean, there's stuff like that in America, but it's definitely a lot more here. And it's definitely more, I guess, like, chiller but like it's still like a big city there's stuff going around and stuff but uh, okay and crazy. you kind of mentioned uh cafes and stuff so how does like the people you know does the lifestyle kind of different like you told me when we were coming back from the game like those two cars pulled over and stopped traffic just so people can say hi and stuff like how are little details like that make for like a different experience for like people and lifestyle in general yeah there's just, there's a lot of things that if you when you think about what a european city or another city would be like you don't really think about beforehand and then when you get there you start noticing a lot of stuff but uh yeah there's just the way people interact it seems like there's a lot more face-to-face -face conversations just go into the city and have conversations people are smoking a lot <laughs> compared to I any mean, people smoke in america but yeah um I don't know, there's a, uh, yeah, there's, there's people stopped in the middle of the road, and that wouldn't generally happen, people would be beeping and stuff, there's not as much of a problem, but, uh, yeah, I mean, there's more, there's more friendly in America, like, hey, how are you doing to strangers and stuff, but I didn't feel like people were, like, closed off or that, oh, okay. like, stubborn while I was here. Well, well, like, I remember seeing you kind of being concerned when we got on the bus because people were pushing and shoving to get in. Yeah, the bus was uh, pretty crazy, especially after the game. There was jam-packed, and yeah, it was really like people were trying to get on. They didn't really, I guess they weren't really concerned about uh, it was yeah. their turn yeah, or yeah. whatever, but uh, yeah, that would definitely be a time where maybe they weren't as friendly. <laughs> okay, so what about um, transport? So when I was in the U.S., I still don't have my license. I've never drawn, uh, drove a car in my life. And people would always ask me, how do you get around Belgrade? And I said, I just use buses, public transport, trams, and other stuff. And they would say, oh, you're a bum. You don't have <laughs> money for a car or whatever. But I, I never needed a car. It's easier to get around with public transport. So how does that compare to Milwaukee? Yeah, I mean, I think... A lot of people don't realize how how like convenient public transportation can be. In terms of Milwaukee, there is public transportation. There's buses, but you use it sometimes, but <coughs> definitely not like it is here. Like you can get around anywhere in the city walking or public transportation and it's not a pain. I mean, there's buses coming all the time, trams. So you said it's not a pain. How does that compare to Milwaukee? Definitely. Is it a lot harder? It's harder for several reasons. One, the buses don't come as much. They're not maybe in as convenient locations and you have to pay. <laughs> pay and whereas <laughs> the way they do it, you have, you have to come in and pay with money. And so it like slows it up. Everyone's oh. got to put their dollar bills in. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot slower. You can't put money on a car like you can't here and just... No, uh, I mean, I'm sure some places in America do. But not Milwaukee. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and... One of my final questions is, uh, last night we went to a club here in Belgrade. We're kind of known for parties on boats during the summer. We call them splavs and splav parties. So how was that compared to, let's say, college parties that you've been to in the U.S.? Yeah, I would say a lot better because the atmosphere, the music, in college, you just have some, whatever speakers you have in your house, or some maybe like fake DJ, maybe, who's doing something, but when you hear the music nonstop, there's no break in the music playing, the, everyone's there having a good time, socializing. I mean, that happens obviously at college parties too, but it's just, it's just like a more, it feels like a more like legit experience, and it's really fun, like, I was dancing the whole night to music. It was there was no break. It was lots. Of and, and you mentioned beforehand that like 
at parties in the US it's only like hip hop music versus here there were hip hop hits but they mix it up with other music the DJs do yeah. so is there anything else that's kind of different to that something that you saw the whole experience. yeah um it will compared to house parties there's definitely more differences um you know uh, well, people, at least for me, because I'm under 21, you have to worry constantly about the cops or something, and it can get overcrowded too, whereas you go into a club, they're going to let people in based on who's in there, so you don't have to worry about it being too jam-packed. You have to make reservations before Reservations, hand. yep. So, it's not overly crowded and stuff. Yeah, it's a good amount. It's, it's full, it's not empty, but it's not too much. And one more thing, what about time so when we when we went to parties in the US they would usually end around midnight versus here the party started at, when we got there at midnight nobody was there people started coming in around 12:30 to 1 mm -hmm. so does that add to the experience even more definitely definitely knowing that you're going to go out and you're going to know that you can be there for a set amount of time a lot of times you go to parties in America you don't you could be there for a half hour, you could be there for two hours. And it, almost every time you're, you're going, oh, this ended too early. Whereas when we left last night, we were like, okay, that was good. Like, we can go now. Like, we were tired. Yeah, we were tired. <laughs> we, we, we had did enough partying. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, thanks for the interview. Yep. After we come back from our other trips, we'll probably make another video or something. Thanks, guys, for watching. And see you guys later. Bye.